It was great fun. We went out on South Beach with Mary and Vic and their gorgeous dog, Nikki. She's a, from Save a Lab. And I was so happy when I saw her in the boat before we took off and knowing that she was, had been rescued. She had been neglected and abandoned. And as soon as she found Mary and Vic, she knew she was loved and had people to take good care of her. Her fur was so beautiful, the texture of her fur. She was crazy. She was doing roundabouts um, all, through the, all through South Beach and having a great time with her ball. And she did so well. And just watching Mary and Vic and their excitement about Nikki, their beautiful new baby being out on the beach, just pure, pure love. This is Murphy. He's a little Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Great dog. I met him when my friend moved from Arizona and Murphy was just a few months old. And we went to a Quasit Inn and we were walking through the flowers and I was noticing just his innocence and his, how he looked at everything for the first time because he really was, he came from the desert and so this was such a different environment for him. And the wonderment in his eyes was just priceless. So I said to his mom, wouldn't it be great to do a dog book about Murphy seeing Cape Cod for the first time through his eyes. I just thought it would be amazing. And that was really the beginning of Dogs on Cape Cod. Dogs on Cape Cod gives you such a nice glimpse of dogs doing what they love to do. There were, there were never any barriers about where they could go or what they could do. We would just let them do their own thing in the environment that they loved, whether it was being on the beach or um, being in a park or being in the water and letting them retrieve their balls and dig and just have a great, great time doing what they love to do. I have a lot of great stories about photographing the dogs for Dogs on Cape Cod. A uh, funny moment was Lola, a field spaniel. Her parents had had her beautifully groomed. We were meeting at a beach uh, in South Chatham and I noticed a little footbridge. So I thought, oh, this would be great to get Lola sitting on the footbridge. And so the dad went ahead and the mom was behind the other end of the bridge. And I said, if you can just get Lola sitting right in the middle, that would be great. Uh, Lola had a treat and um, her dad had given her another little treat. He was still at the other end of the bridge. Well, all of a sudden she dropped her treat. And the dad was saying, please Lola, don't go get the treat because it had fallen in the muck and marsh and awful stuff. And Lola, poor thing, could not stand it. She had to get that treat. The mom and dad ran to the middle of the bridge. The mother held on to the father um, while he grabbed Lola out of the muck. And then I luckily had gotten one shot before she went in. And then we decided it's time for some water shots. A portion of the proceeds will go to the Brewster branch of the Animal Rescue League. So every time you buy a book, you know that you'll be helping another little dog. The Animal Rescue League of Brewster is near and dear to my heart. My husband and I got our first dog, Jack, our beloved, beloved Jack. He was a lab and golden retriever mix. Just the perfect, perfect dog. The people there are amazing. They have all been there 20, 25 years. It was so much fun. June 11th, we had a wonderful launch party for the Animal Rescue League, and I, I invited all the people who had been in the book to say thank you, all the parents, and I wanted all of the money to go to the Animal Rescue League, specifically the Cape Cod branch in Brewster, and it was so great. We were able to get so many very generous sponsors to help with the event, and uh, we invited the Animal Rescue League people from Boston, uh, the president was there, and uh, many of the people that had worked for the Animal Rescue League in Brewster for, again, 20, 25 years. Just a great group of people. It's interesting with dogs. It doesn't matter whether you're in Paris, Chatham, New Zealand, and I have been to those places and I've taken pictures of many, many dogs. 
everybody has the same reaction when you see the love that they have between their cherished companion it's so special you can have somebody who is the biggest curmudgeon and when you approach him or her and they seem a little grouchy and you say oh my gosh you have the cutest dog they melt all of a sudden their wall comes down they they have a big smile they have now become very social and they want to tell you all about their dog that's one of the many beauties of what dogs give to people. They make people human. Yes, I love you. I love you.